Hello, hello. We are live. Let me find us some music. Well, we love that. <laughs> this is called Miracles Happen. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We are going to be meditating today and practicing self-love. If you are here, go ahead and do something brave and type I love myself in the chat box. I love myself. Because self-love is our foundation. It is our liberation in this world. And if you don't love yourself, I am sending you so much light, sending you so much love because you deserve to be loved. You do. How do I? I'm not sure how to write a type, a, a typic, but maybe um, I love myself in the chat box. The energy is so heavy right now, so intense in the world, and really the most powerful thing we can do right now is return to self, okay? You may be at a time in your day where you are uh, at a midpoint. It's noon, you might have been doing stuff all morning, um, and noon is just a great time to stop everything and um, commend, commend yourself for what you've done today, commend yourself for how far you've gotten today, commend yourself for everything that you've been able to accomplish. Even if it's little things, you have a little wish list a wish list you have a to-do list of your day did you accomplish half of it did you accomplish any of it how can we bring love and self-love into your practice every day how can we do that and so that's what i'm here to do is to just bring that light to you and bring that love to you as we integrate into a new season new existence i mean gosh there's so much happening in the world right now and many of us are being drawn to the message of look what i'm doing is not working what i'm doing is not for my greatest good what i'm doing is not helping me ascend to the next level of my life it's literally keeping me where i am and where i am is wonderful but it's for sure not where i want to be right so meditating is a wonderful way to ground yourself within your self-love so that you can continuously gain access to your purpose your goals what you intend to accomplish while here on this material plane and uh, it's just instant access to yourself when you're constantly pushing outwards and outwards and ascribing all of your wins to everything that is outside of you where is the direction back how do you get back how do you give back to yourself so that's why i am here to bring you some meditation bring you some self-love please honor yourself today please you are amazing you are everything you are literally everything in your universe everything and when you love yourself you vibrate like your energy vibrates on a much higher level on a much higher plane and from there everyone around you feels that energy everyone around you feel that 
feels that positivity, that vibration that you were able to ascend to. Okay, I know this because I've been obsessed with myself my whole life. <laughs> and when I go out into the world, people people are, people are just drawn to me. They're like, oh my goodness, give me that light. What's that light from? And I'm like, well, <laughs> it's from loving myself. I woke up this morning and I chose love. I chose myself. And when I go out into the world and I spread it to all of the beautiful souls, I honestly, it was unknowingly. I didn't know that I was doing that, uh, but now I can do it intentionally. So connecting the dots of how to, how to save the world, how to help people love themselves, how to raise the consciousness and the vibration of this planet within the other souls, how to do this. It's through self-love. It is through loving yourself. It's literally that simple, um, but it's not. It's not that simple. What is it? Simple, but not easy. It's simple, but not easy. How many things on this planet are prevalent and here in our face that are just so simple, but oh my goodness, no way is it easy. So with that, every single day, if you can, if you can show up for yourself and have these mindful moments, return yourself to yourself to your breath, to your body. This is your vessel here. I heard a quote this morning. I believe it was, we are borrowing these vessels while we're here, or you're borrowing your body for your time here. Your soul is forever. And it's just so true. And also a big reason of why I was a personal trainer too, because I'm like, take care of your body. Like we are here for the time that our vessel can physically be here, not taking accidents and things into account. But if it was up to you and you could truly harness and truly plan how long you're gonna be here as a human, then uh, how long do you wanna be here? And if it's a long time, then what things are you doing for yourself, for your body, for your mind, for your soul? that are indeed going to keep you here for longevity. If you're still going home and popping open a bag of chips, busting the wine out and doing all these different things, how, how is that showing yourself self-love? And I'm not talking about the moderation, I'm talking about this is what I do every day, okay? This is, these are habits. Okay, these are things that you are instilling within yourself and you're saying, this is what I'm giving my body. This is what I, I said I wanna be here for a long time. I said I want to uh, empower my vision here for a long time, but also I wanna drink alcohol every day and I also wanna um, do other bad things for my body. I'm not gonna go like super deep into the, the physicality, but you know, you know the things out there that are good for you and not good for you. And yet those innate responses are still reaching for those things. You're still reaching for it and it's still programmed within you because you've allowed it. So meditating allows you to take the time to stop and feel and ask, okay? I'll give you an example. When, say you've had a just wild day, you've had a wild day at work, a wild day out there in the world, and you're like, ah, I am feeling so erratic right now. I really need to ground myself. Let me grab me some wine. This is a conscious thought. And as I was saying before, this is a, a habit for a lot of people. Like it's not a thought anymore. It's a, I've had a bad day and now I drink. I've had a bad day and now I'm gonna smoke some weed. I had a bad day and now I'm going to insert whatever game for hours, like whatever it is that you are kind of coddling yourself with. And just using that energy, you can stop and ask yourself, you can just stop and breathe, feel into the feeling. What are you feeling? Oh, it was just so wild out there. Things were just a oh, stressful day. I did so much. How can I wind down? How can I come into my body? 
And I invite you to take a moment, take a deep breath, feel the blessing of breath in your body. There's going to be a time where you don't get to have this. So feel that breath. Feel your lungs expand. Feel the inviting air, H2O, that enters your body. And then, then, then ask yourself the question, do I want this drink? Do I really want to smoke and get rid of my, my emotions right now? Do I really want to just go game for hours and, and lose the rest of my day? Or are there other things that I can reach for? Can I reach for maybe nature? Can I reach for something creative that's going to activate my brain in a different way that it's not being activated at work or on my normal days? Maybe buy some canvas and paint and just go wild on it. <laughs> you don't have to do the same thing every day. Um, you can just come up with a list of things that you enjoy doing, that you that you feel light from, that you end up just loving yourself about, okay? Try that when you have those days of, oh my goodness, I cannot ground myself, I need to ground myself. Take those moments, stop, breathe, feel, and then find an outlet, find an outlet. And a really great way to do this is to look at that list of things that you came up with and pick something. Pick one thing off the list that you are going to spend your next hours on rather than turning to the things that usually um, will just aren't good for your body. Okay. So that's today's example of how to use meditation. Um, yesterday we covered when when somebody asks you something and in the moment you immediately answer I just encourage you to stop feel breathe ask yourself does this feel aligned with me does this feel okay for me yes or no and then answering the person okay So at this moment, we are going to take some mindful moments to meditate. And one of the most important things that I can say about meditation is just try not to judge your thoughts. Try not to control your thoughts, okay? Just watch them come and watch them go. Watch them arrive and then watch them float away. And if you do find yourself in a moment of going after those thoughts, like a thought comes up and you're like, oh no, I don't really blah, blah, blah. And you're like answering to yourself. Just let yourself know, create this relationship with yourself. Let yourself know that you are, you'll think about it later. You'll set time aside to think about it later. You will say thank you self for bringing that up right now. I understand you want to think about that. However, we are meditating. This is my time. And then continue on watching your thoughts, okay? So we're going to take a moment right now to do exactly that. Mm. So go ahead and invite some deep, deep breaths into your soul, into your vessel, into your body that you get to inhabit this time around. What a wonderful thing to be a human. Come on. We are so awesome and just so great and we get free will. And so use this free will to meditate, meditate. Okay, so deep breath. Let out a big sigh, just let out that energy. Feel and then sit. Observe your thoughts.
take a deep breath. Let it out. Take note of how you feel in your vessel right now, how you feel in your body. And it's, I think that was like three or four or five minutes. That's truly all you need right now. All you need right now on this day where there's not a meditation practice in place. All you need is three, four, five minutes with yourself, with your breath, with your vessel to say, I'm here for you self. I am here to take care of you. I am here to take care of my body, my mind, my soul. And we all align here right now today for these four or five minutes. Meditation can be anywhere. You could be at your desk. I'm at my desk right now. You can be outside. You can be doing the hand at heart center, sitting cross legs. There are so many ways that you can show up to your meditation practice. The only, the best one is the one that you are gonna commit to every day. If it's three minutes every day, four minutes every day, five minutes, and then you get to 10, and then you get to 30 minutes, and soon you're meditating for an hour a day, just being with yourself and getting to know yourself of why you are here, why you are existing, is so powerful. But beyond that, beyond all of that, okay, self-love, absolutely beautiful powerful the the light feeling that you feel as super as humans as superhumans as humans meditating is what activates our powers because we have powers we have so many different ways that we can show up to the world and be powerful and i'm not talking about hmm confidence or projections i'm talking about like real powers like astral projecting and and energy moving and energy healing and manifesting actually being able to manifest things when you meditate you gain that integral power within and integral power within the universe within our existence and as i was saying at the beginning of this live you pass that on to other people you don't even know it when you are on your high your your meditation high and you're out there just beaming a light to everyone while everyone else is in the bubble of oh gosh it's been a long day oh my gosh it's hot oh my gosh Yes, yes, there are so many things to be annoyed about in this world. <laughs> so many, believe me. But there are also just so many things to be grateful for. And when you focus on that gratitude and you focus on that, bringing that back to yourself and your self-love, the energy that you exude is, it's unpenetrable you can't no one no one can take you out of you you're you whenever you do feel that unrest of someone coming in on your energy or even just looking at you in a weird way wow how dare they be so positive bring it back to self you know i can be this positive because i have a lot to be grateful for in this earth and i'm not gonna let the earth well not the earth but the world get down on me and 
keep proving to me and showing to me all of the negative things that I can possibly be negative about. There's so many things to be negative about, okay? So many, but there's also so many positive things and meditating always brings you back to that gratitude. I remember at my highest, just go, go, go brain, go, go thinking, overthinking life at my highest, I would, I did the thing of writing down five things I'm grateful for every single day. And every day I chose a new thing that I'm grateful for, okay? For every day, every week. So I had 35 things that I was grateful for every single week, every week. And when you start doing that, you're like, oh, um, you, you start noticing the little things. Okay, well, I'm grateful for this beautiful pink tree outside of my window. I'm grateful for my best friend's health. I'm grateful for clean water. I'm grateful for, like, you just start finding little, little things. And then soon you're operating out there in the world in this air of gratitude, this air of light of, I'm here. I'm here. I'm a human and I get to have all of this. I get to see all of this. And I also get to understand the embodiment of impermanence. Nothing is forever. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is mine. Nothing is myself. And with that, I get to let it go. With that, I get to flee. I get to be free. I get to not overthink because... I don't have to overthink about losing this thing because th I always things are always going. Things are always coming and going. So by detaching, by coming back to the foundational aspects of life, foundational aspects of being alive, what can sway you? What can move you? Nothing. Nothing can move you when you are grounded in your self-love, when you take the time daily to meditate, even if it's just for a minute. <laughs> so I encourage you to just start that at some point. Start it, start it today. Give yourself three minutes, four minutes, five minutes to breathe. Sit with yourself and breathe. <sighs> it's wonderful. <laughs> there are just infinite resources on this planet for you to find gratitude all you need is a few okay so we're gonna take these last few minutes and invite another mindful moment into our vessel into our bodies so that we can breathe gratitude as well and as you're breathing think of things that you are grateful for Think of ways that you can find light within yourself. Yes, things may be going on, but great things are too. So take a deep breath. Feel your lungs expand. Really, really just feel that air fill your vessel. And then let it out. Mm all the way in even holding at the top <sighs> mm. <sighs> with gratitude sit with yourself and observe your thoughts
take a deep breath. And exhale. Mm. Just check in with your body. Check in with how you feel right now after those welcoming breaths into your vessel, into your soul. Even just for a moment, I think that was four minutes, even just a moment, you can bless yourself with this every day. Bless yourself with time with yourself every day if you can and remember that the foundation is always self-love always 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 during your meditation time nothing is calling to you nothing is pulling at you nothing nothing gets in that time with yourself nothing and thank you so much for joining me today i hope that your vessel just feels so much happier and that you feel aligned with your self-love and that every day you're working towards it because I know it's hard, I know it. But you are worthy. You're worthy of this. You are worth it. You're worth the time that you take for yourself. And if you cannot access that self-love, I shall give it to you. I love you. I'm sending you love with all of my loving soul. And I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Thank you so much for joining. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>